Hello everybody. I mentioned the other day that um, I was going to try something new besides the snack boxes. First of all, yes, I'm a mess. I've worked all day and I've come home and cleaned house. So um, I'll get right into it. The thing I was going to try to do, uh, aside from the snack boxes, is uh, taste testing some military MREs from around the world. Now, um, for those of you who don't know what an MRE is, it's a field ration, a packaged field ration that uh, uh, military personnel are issued while they're in the field to eat. Um, in the U.S., we have uh, individual meals packaged uh, and some of the foreign countries have actually have 24-hour rations, which is all three meals packed into it. Anyway, I, I ordered uh, one U.S. MRE and one Russian MRE. Uh, the, the U.S. MRE should be here next week and the Russian one in about six weeks. Uh, customs willing. Anyway, I was talking to a friend at work, and he had um, he had an MRE that someone had given him, so he donated it to me for the cause. And as I mentioned, I worked all day, and I came home and cleaned house, and I don't feel like cooking, so I'm going to just do the MRE today with this one. Now, I've already opened it because they wanted to see what was in it. They've never never seen the food that was in one. Um, so I will lay this out for y'all and let y'all have a look at it. Now, keep in mind, the last time I ate one of these was about 25 years ago. And they're always changing and updating the menus. So uh, this one is Menu 2 Vegetable Lasagna. And I've never had this. Um, the only ones I've eaten were the, the old ones from the 80s and 90s. So this will be an experience for all of us. Um, this um, vegetable lasagna. And I may eat these cold. I may eat these hot, depending on how I feel. So... Uh, diced pears. We have right here a chocolate chip cookie. Those are considerably bigger than the ones I remember. Um, the accessory pack. And let me see if I can open this. Uh, I'm going to have to get some scissors. don't have my knife with me so I will use scissors okay the accessory pack has a lemon base uh, food uh, mix or drink mix some gum salt moist towelette that's something we didn't have in ours and toilet paper Yes, that's toilet paper. As you can see, they were, they're were they real generous with the stuff. And after several days of eating these, uh, that stuff comes at a premium. So until your stomach gets used to this type of food, Okay, so let me see what else we got. Uh, they got fancy on us. It used to be just had black coffee in it. Now we got cappuccino. A spoon. Chunky peanut butter. All we had was smooth. All right, cats, get out. Y'all can't have none of this. Crackers. No, the crackers were always good. I, I, I like the crackers. A heating package. 
pepper sauce. And the last time I, I ate one of these, they actually had little bitty bottles of uh, uh, Tabasco sauce in them and Twizzlers. Not big on Twizzlers, but it's a snack. And it comes in the bag, as you see. Real heavy duty plastic for storing all your garbage after you've eaten. I'll lay all this out and show you a picture of it and uh, we'll get down to it. As you can see, all of that is for one meal. And I think that will carry, uh, let me see if it tells you somewhere on here. I think this will run you about uh, maybe 2,000 calories. Because keep in mind, this has got to keep uh, your uh, servicemen and women going through harsh conditions. Um, the heating elements... I've always thought were quite clever. Uh, when I was in the service, uh, basically, we had little, uh, I can't remember what what it's made out of, some kind of uh, calcium, uh, sodium, calcium, I don't know, heat tabs. And you got a pack of matches in your MRE and you light one of the heat tabs and you had a little uh, cup with your canteen and you put everything in it and heated it up. This here, all you do, fill it up to that line with water and stick your food in there and lean it up against a rock or something and it heats the stuff up real quick. Um, Let's see. I'm actually gonna use this one and let y'all let y'all uh, see how to do it while I um, eat some of this other stuff. We will take the vegetable lasagna and uh, food. Put the vegetable lasagna in, like so. Take some water. And, uh, let's see. Be careful not to overfill it. And I can't see, so... I may overfill it. Just barely. Hold the top. And this will heat fairly quickly. All right, Belly, you need to get down. So while that's doing its thing, we will open up some of this stuff and see what we've got. Dice pears. Uh, let's see here. Dice pear package. Better open my spoon first. Before I get into the dice pears, I'm going to make me some uh, lemon drink. Quit, Bella. Quit. My mug.
stir that up. And let's see how it tastes. Tastes good, sweet. Okay. I'm trying not to make a mess on my table here. I'll let you look in there. Diced pears. All right, Bella, quit. Mm. Well, they have it fermented, so they're still good. Actually, very nice. Mm. These, um... I don't know about the foreign MREs, the U.S. military MREs. They will last in proper storage for several years and remain good. I didn't even look to see what the date on this one was, but I know I've eaten worse, so... I'm not real concerned with it. The crackers, I always liked. Um, and you used to get either peanut butter, cheese, or jelly with them. I got chunky peanut butter. I've never seen chunky peanut butter in here. If I can get this open, they are vacuum sealed very tightly, and uh, I want you to see this unbroken. They are packaged so tightly and very well in there, and. You very rarely got any broken crackers with it until you went to break it and then it does this. They're unsalted. They have a um, they have a unique taste from from regular salting crackers. But keep in mind they have to last in storage for years so let's put some uh, chunky peanut butter on see good peanut butter mmm Counter. That stuff will stick with you. I remember the cheese was always kind of oily. And the jelly was good. And the peanut butter was good. But I remember the cheese as being oily. It's almost gotten too hot to touch. It doesn't take long. So I will 
take it out of there. And let's see what the vegetable lasagna. Now, keep in mind that I'm speaking from memory that's uh, at least 50 years old. Um, when I was in the Marine Corps and we would eat these, they had a lot more limited menu than back then. You only had like a dozen different um, types or menu items. And uh, they rotated them. So you never knew what you were going to get. As I remember, some of the best ones that we had uh, the beans and franks were good. Uh, the beef patty, the ham steak, the chicken a la king. Nobody liked the dried pork patty. So if you if you got that, you were just out of luck. The heater is still going and it's hot. Now, the vegetable lasagna. Let's... Uh, let you look. It looks more like uh, um, macaroni helper or something like that. But I'm going to liven it up with a little pepper sauce. A little pepper sauce never hurt nothing. If I remember right, we also had some breakfast meals, uh, scrambled eggs and, and uh, uh, ham, and maybe a few others. I can't remember. It's been that long ago, but it was always, uh, I never you know, disliked them other than the pork patty. It tasted like dried mud, but... Uh, the food in it was generally very good. Yeah. It's, um, it tastes more like, um, a, um, some kind of uh, macaroni helper or something like that. Not one of the best meals I've had, but I don't have to cook. And let me tell you, that pepper sauce will wake you up. Oh, me. You might not think that um, this meal would fill you up, but after this, you don't want to eat any more for a while. The last ones of these I got was um, probably 25 years ago when I was working as a game warden, I was able to come up with some and I would carry them out in the boat when I was working the river or out in the woods when I was working out there. And it's good, uh, you know, it's good survival food. Or if you're just out in the woods or outdoors for the day and you want something to carry that's easy to carry, 
you can have yourself a picnic. You can get pretty messy with this stuff. Um, when I can talk again, You want to shut somebody up, you feed them that peanut butter. They won't be able to talk. Now, um, like I say, I don't know what the, what all they have on the new menus. I've looked online and uh, they have so much different stuff now. I'm looking forward to tasting it, but more I'm looking forward to taste testing some of the foreign MREs. Now, like the, uh, the Russian one that I've ordered, everything is written in Russian, so I have no clue what I'm getting. I have no clue what I'm going to be eating. But I'm going to try it because that's part of the adventure of it. I'm still trying to figure out the taste of that. It's like a chili mac, but with marinara sauce instead of... Uh, chili sauce. As you can see, there's still a lot of food left in there. And uh, I'm going to eat some more of these pears. And uh, finish these I'm sorry y'all have to sit there and watch me eat but that's what this is all about I used to have people to go out and do stuff with, but over the years I've fallen by the wayside, or they have, and uh, I don't have people to do that with anymore. And since this uh, pandemic, uh, I very rarely go out anywhere, and when I do, it's by myself. So it's me and my cats. I want you to look at this. That is a big cookie. And we used to have, um, in the old ones, we had uh, little maple nut cakes that were real good. And I don't, I don't know what other kind, pecan nut cake. Uh, I can't remember, it's been so long ago, but those little cakes were good. That <laughs> that one cookie is three hundred calories. It's a big cookie. 
and you can see it's it's uh, fresh. There's nothing stale about it, and it tastes as good as any cookie you'll buy at the store. Mm. One good thing we had we, that I did today was um, I ordered my Girl Scout cookies. So if you haven't got uh, your Girl Scout cookies yet, they're coming up. Always try to find a dealer and usually don't have much luck but I, I lucked up on one at work today so I've ordered those my cats have gone crazy I'm not going to make me a cappuccino yet. You all know what cappuccino mix and coffee mix and stuff like that is. Instant powder mixes. You know what Twizzlers taste like. I'm not going to eat Twizzlers. But um, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to kick back and relax for the rest of the evening. And maybe read some. But... This has been my first MRE taste test, and uh, I certainly enjoyed it, and I'm going to finish this and be done with it, and I will see y'all in a few weeks when one of my others come in. So thank you for watching, and uh, if you get hold of an MRE, give it a shot. I don't think you'll be disappointed. All right, y'all have a good night. Bye.